Okinawa is a big name in the Indian electric two-wheeler market. Well, the brand has recently topped the sales tally. But it is the Okinawa OK90 that is the newest from the brand. And on paper, it sounds very potent. But in the real-world conditions, how is this new electric scooter? Well, that's what we're going to find out in this review video. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mohit Badwad. You guys are watching Z News English. And let's kick things off design first but before that if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel yet do that right now also click on the bell icon to stay notified for all our future uploads the okinawa ok90 is a very distinctive looking scooter and one of the main reasons for this are the 16 inch aluminum alloy wheels yes they are the largest ever seen on an electric scooter in the indian market and if i talk about the design highlights well on the front apron you get slim led blinkers and led drls along with that there's a circularish led headlamp and all of that make the scooter look very smart move over to the sides you have slim side panels and over to the rear you get all led tail lamp and all of these design elements only make the okinawa stand out from the crowd but there's a small gripe that i have in terms of fit and finish levels i think they would have been better for a greater durability and a long lasting life of the scooter but i think it's time that we should talk about the features that okinawa ok90 comes with talking of features the okinawa ok90 is loaded to the brim the scooter comes with this key fob that lets you lock and unlock the scooter with the press of a button and the feature list doesn't come to an end just here it comes with an all digital instrument cluster which can be further upgraded to a multicolor lcd that is iot enabled and lets you keep a track of the vehicle stats and its location apart from that with the mobile application you can also uh, geofence this scooter and keep a check on a lot of other parameters you can also check how much charge is there in your scooter remotely now if we talk about other things well okinawa has done a great job in terms of using the materials it comes with aluminum parts for your levers your alloy wheels and your sewing arms and with the sewing arm i think we should now get talking about the performance Talking of performance, I'll start with the battery capacity. It is a 3.6 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack and you get a 3.8 kilowatt motor and both of them sit right in the center and with a wheelbase of 1520 mm, this scooter feels planted for sure. In fact, switching lanes and negotiating through tight traffic is not a hassle at all. Considering it has 16 inch wheels with a 100 section tire on the front and a 120 section tire on the rear, you'll never run out of grip and of course confidence. Talking of suspension, you have right side up telescopic forks on the front and twin shock absorbers on the rear. And I think the suspension is tuned on the stiffer side and there could have been slightly more compression and damping over here. Nevertheless, the stiffer suspension aids you with a lot of flickability. Now talking of brakes, they are good too because you have rotors, I mean disc brakes on both the ends and they work in tandem to avoid any heart in the mouth moment. If I talk about the performance of the motor, I think it is very very strong because you have two riding modes over here, eco and sport. And in the sport mode, this scooter can do speeds northwards of 80 kmph whereas in eco mode the speeds are largely restricted to in the range of 40 kmph on off throttle transitions are good as well but how much does this scooter deliver on a one full charge well okinawa is claiming 160 kilometers in the eco mode whereas in the sport mode according to okinawa it would return somewhere around 100 kilometers and in our test conditions i think this claim stands tall for the most part 
Well, I think it is time to answer the final question that should you consider buying the Okinawa Oki 90 or not? And I think you certainly should. Priced at Rs 1.21 lakh, Okinawa Oki 90 is a very neatly priced offering and considering it has a range of 160 kilometers claimed by Okinawa in the eco mode, that's a lot when you compare it to its competitors. Although the fit and finish levels could have been better, but the scooter has a lot of performance on offer. I said the speeds northwards of 80 kmph, that's not something you get on a lot of electric scooters. Moreover, it is feature loaded and seeks a lot of attention when in the traffic. So if you want a scooter that gets you a lot of attention and convenience, I think Okinawa Oki 90 could be a perfect choice for you. Moreover, it comes with a battery that is detachable. So in case you do not have a charging point in your parking, you can take the battery out to your home, charge it, put it back in and get going the next day. And ladies and gentlemen, this was all from my side. I'm your host Mohit Badwas, taking a leave. Take care.